I was born and raised in Costa Rica. Been living in Montreal for about 20 years. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I make installations. For the most part, it means that I'm interested in space and I'm interested in creating sort of like room size environments for materials and ideas to exist. To me, art is a time-based experience. This is the beginning when you enter the room and this is the end. What can I put at the middle or what can I put at the end for how people kind of experience that journey? I mean, as artists, we're, we're competing with so much, so much visual competition, so much visual information. So we have to think about different strategies for how to engage people and seduce people into, yeah, spend more than eight seconds, which is the average that people spend with a painting. <laughs> I'm interested in objects, um, but from a like a very internally conflicted position because I, I like things too. You know, I am a consumer too. So I tend to do things or installations that feel that they dance a little bit on this line between celebrating things and being critical of things. I feel like that leaves the room for people to make up their own mind. I grew up in a small town on the edge of a rainforest. My dad was a veterinarian and um, he would just bring me everywhere with him. So I was exposed to a lot of animals and a lot of yeah, like natural environment. Um, so I think about how do I bring that experience of growing up in Costa Rica and how do I bring Costa Rica into my practice quite a bit. One of the first things that I walked into was a Dollarama actually. And I remember thinking that there was a similar kind of variety of color and shape and form in the Dollarama um, that I grew up with, but this time was plastic. And I remember like looking at the labels in some of the bottles and products and how much they reference the natural. Each project that I do takes about a year to develop. I like the process of engaging deeply into something I don't know to try to learn about it, um, whether that is like, you know, technical things about how to make ceramics or like, you know, learning about photography or learning about orchids. I think quite a bit actually about um, culture specific audiences. Like I think a lot about how references um, travel or don't travel across you know, different places. Like, how would my work change if I show it in Costa Rica versus if I show it here? I, I was having this kind of conversation actually with a graduate student. He was asking me, how do I make Canadian art? And then my answer was like, well, if you make art in Canada, it's Canadian art. I'm really interested in like, what does it mean to be interested in materiality in the 21st century? Like, I think a lot about the journey from raw material to a commodity you know if you think of a shampoo bottle and how it starts as like you know molded plastic or something you even just think about the label this sort of like you know peach scented coconut like flavor like rain for like waterfall you know like all of the all of this is infused into this object so that at the end becomes much more than just a plastic bottle it's now a, a sign Right? Like it, it, it transcends that. It's like we do think that things have a magical power, but we don't acknowledge it as such. I think that advertising believes in sympathetic magic, mimic from something that looks that from the natural to infuse it with that natural power, with coconut power, with duck power, or like waterfall power. There's an associative logic to thinking uh, in art, like the way that you can draw a material with a reference, with a novel, with like an experience. Um, and I feel like I think like that, kind of like in a collage sort of way. I find um, that as a language, um, it has an immense power to um, incite somebody's imagination or to like hint at an idea without like telling specifically what that is. Thank you.